NASA announced today a new name for its moon program. They called it Artemis. Of course, she is a Greek goddess of the moon and twin sister of Apollo. NASA picked that name in hopes of having the first woman land on the moon by 2024, and that's four years earlier than originally planned. And in order to meet that deadline, the Trump administration wants Congress to approve an additional $1.6 billion for NASA on top of its $21 billion budget for next year. Mark Strassman spoke with former Oklahoma Congressman Jim Bridenstine, the man responsible for making the moonshot possible. The eagle has landed. What? <laughs> 50 years ago this July, two Americans left the first footprints in lunar dust. No other country has matched Apollo's moonwalkers. But five have sent probes and robots, including Israel and China, just this year. It's not by accident that so many countries around the world right now are going to the moon. And not all of them are going to the moon just to collect rocks. Um, it's a strategic imperative that the United States have a presence there as well. When Jim Bridenstine became NASA's administrator last year, a planned moon landing was a decade away. Ladies and gentlemen, that's just not good enough. But in March, Vice President Mike Pence lit a fire under NASA and its contractors. If NASA is not currently capable of landing American astronauts on the moon in five years, we need to change the organization, not the mission. We've seen over and over again, administrations change and projects get canceled with billions of dollars wasted of the taxpayer. We're going to shorten the time scale. We're going to make this a reality. That starts by accelerating development of NASA's new mega rocket called the Space Launch System, or SLS. On top would sit NASA's new crew capsule called Orion. Roughly 240,000 miles from Earth, Orion eventually would dock with a planned lunar orbiting space station called Gateway. But the Artemis program lacks one key component. What's the most significant piece of the budget increase? The landing capability. Like lunar landers are difficult to build. They take time, they take money, uh, and we don't have that capability. Not yet, but private industry wants that contract. This is Blue Moon. Last week, billionaire Jeff Bezos introduced Blue Moon, his space company's design for a lunar lander. Lockheed Martin also has a design. Five years to get to the moon. How is that not fairly intense schedule pressure? If somebody says this isn't safe, ultimately they have the authority to, to throw a red flag and say stop. It is more important for us that our astronauts be safe. Bridenstine, a former congressman from Oklahoma, thinks he has the votes on Capitol Hill to pass this new budget hike. Bigger requests are sure to follow, but without that support, the moon looks awfully far away. Mark Strassman, CBS News, New York. And still ahead here tonight at 9, we are learning new details from the medical